Do not mix with alcohol. Fine, I'll drink it separately. Boy, give me a beer. <laughs> Hernia mornings, poisoned by plankton, and lots to say about Dr. Nick. Hi, everybody! Get ready to chuckle because today we are breaking down and reacting to the funniest medical scenes and ridiculous injuries from The Simpsons. Let's dive right in. Perfect night! Voulez-vous cacher avec? <laughs> wow! There goes the back. My back! You hear something pop in your back and you're like, uh oh, I did something wrong. You don't want to move. You stay still, which is fine. What typically will happen is whatever muscles are around that area, if some injury did occur, they will start to spasm out and actually try to keep you from moving as well. Go! Oh, oh, Dave! What the? Go! Oh, go! Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Marge luckily fell every step of the way on Homer, so maybe protected, but hurts like heck. Have you guys ever tried to carry somebody and fallen? Let me know in the comments. Marge, I'm afraid your days of walking are over. Oh my God. For about 36 hours. Sometimes if you have a good rapport with an individual, you can talk like that. But in general, you just gotta kind of give it to them straightforward and let them know, okay, it's gonna hurt for the next few days. It might get a little bit worse and then it'll start to improve. By then, this mild ankle sprain should be good as new. There's different degrees of ankle sprains. It has to do with the ligaments that are injured. Typically, they're on the lateral aspect of the ankle itself. And usually one, two, or three of them are ruptured. It's just based on symptoms. You swell up a lot, you'll have bruising. It's my fault. Homie wouldn't have dropped me if I hadn't put on a few pounds. Nonsense. It's not your fault you're married to a... this. What the oh, heck? Oh, and it was such a good date night. Well, now it's a hernia morning. A hernia morning. <laughs> See, you've got a tear in your abdominal wall and a section of your intestine is pushed through. So that's cool. So we call those ventral hernias. You can have an umbilical hernia that goes through your belly button. But if it goes through the abdominal wall, we call it a ventral hernia. You can have a hernia of your intestines or you can just have a hernia of fat tissue. Hernia of fat tissue is not dangerous. It could hurt a little bit. So sometimes they may actually have to fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Aren't you going to chuckle? An inguinal hernia is no laughing matter. Oh, these are the wrong terms. So an inguinal hernia is the hernia down into the groin and typically goes through a defect that's already there. Possible side effects may include hallucinations, irritability. When a medication has side effects, they actually have to report every single side effect that had ever happened to anybody ever taking that medication. And so that's why when you get that pamphlet from the pharmacy, there's so many different side effects. Inability to focus. Blah, blah, blah. Homer can't focus. I know it'll help. Oh, check it out. Level up by life happens. This stuff will give you energy and focus. Do not mix with alcohol. Fine, I'll drink it separately. Boy, give me a beer. <laughs> Please, if you're on a medication that potentially will impair you, don't add another substance that will also impair you, as well as it changes the metabolism and messes with the liver, so please be aware of that. Wow, this plankton's only 33 cents. Um, according to the Mexican Council of Food, this expired two years ago. Oops. Sure, by their standards. But we live in America. <laughs> Well, he's eating expired food. Please don't do that. Yes, it might be in a can and people say, oh, it might actually last longer, but it does increase the risk of bad side effects as well as causing yourself illness. Typically it would be a GI type issue. Nocturnal cravings, a positive ultrasound. There's a transabdominal ultrasound looking at the pregnancy, pretty good. How could this woman's doctor not know she was pregnant? <laughs> You'd be surprised. People do come into the emergency department and actually don't know that they're pregnant and they've been pregnant for a long time. Some people say that they didn't feel any movement, didn't notice anything different versus hormonal changes, mood swings, nausea, vomiting. Oh, yes. A baby. An astronaut baby. <laughs> Wow. Obviously, that was the umbilical cord. Typically, that would be clamped off. The clamps! It doesn't matter exactly where you cut and clamp it. It just needs to be separated. And then that cord is then attached, not just to the baby, but it's attached to the placenta. And eventually, the placenta will also deliver itself. You see, I just sold the Lil Lisa recycling plant for $120 million. Oh. As my advisor, you're entitled to 10% of the proceeds. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, 
but I can't accept that. Lisa, why not take this $12 million? Come on. Come on! You did the right thing, sweetheart. <laughs> wow. And so the monitor in the back is not really beeping very well. It's very slow. You'd expect that somebody's heart is beating a little bit faster. Well, that's the first case I've ever seen of a man suffering four simultaneous heart attacks. I'm sorry, Dad. Four simultaneous heart attacks. Probably a different way to say that would be multiple blood vessels are all clogged at the same time. When you're having a heart attack, most of the time what happens is you have a small piece of the wall or a narrowing of the blood vessel break off and then it causes a complete blockage. You really could have used that $12,000. Um, Dad, oh my gosh. 10% of $120 million isn't 12000 It's... Code blue. Code blue. <laughs> in the hospital, when you hear code blue, that means that somebody is either having a cardiac arrest or a respiratory arrest. With this level of sour cream in your blood, your brain is completely starved of oxygen. Consequently, you're a moron. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Too much sour cream, meaning is there too much cholesterol, fats, triglycerides, inhibiting the brain tissue from getting oxygenated, maybe. I mean, the picture of the brain, it's got all those spots on it, which could be ischemia, where there's dead brain tissue. A perfect explanation, succinct and devastating. Infinite stars. Best diagnosis if... <laughs> Wow. The question ends up being, how did he drop dead? Was it due to a stroke in the brain or an immediate cardiac arrest? If somebody drops down like that and dies that fast, typically it's from your heart stopping. Hey, Lisa, dare you to drink the water? Don't drink the I'm water. I'm sure that is water. Yep. Chicken. Bart, be quiet. Lisa, drink the water. <laughs> <laughs> Good advice from their aunt. Don't start drinking liquids that you don't know what they are. It's a water at a park. Different things fall into it. They may not have a filtration system. So they probably need something to keep it clean from getting pathogens in there. So it could have a lot of chemicals in there. Whoa, could be infectious, not a good idea. Could be toxic to a human causing cardiac arrhythmias, cardiac arrest, hit your CNS, so your central nervous system, causing you to have hallucinations, could stroke out, may lose function of your bowel and your bladder. Just now hallucinating. Even drinking like water from like a really nice glacier. You gotta be careful. It can cause you say like Giardia, where you're gonna have like a diarrheal illness. Say you go camping and you need water, make sure that you appropriately sterilize that water, either heating it or special tablets or filters, those sorts of things. No way out, I tell you! What's wrong? Well, you just put your head right here. Oh, jeez. Say you're on a ride at one of these parks and you get a little bit of water splash on you. It's probably just fine. It's more if you start developing symptoms, have yourself checked out. Obviously the Simpsons, always fun. I appreciate you guys watching and keeping this going. These are always quite entertaining. If you have any specific clips you want me to react to, please send them my way. Definitely binge watch this playlist right here. And as always, please make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.